Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing another the Dun anime review. And today we are reviewing the anime called Non Non Burrito Burrito Not Burrito Bio Bio Whatever. It's Non Non Burrito Brio 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 Whatever. Uh sorry me stumbling over the connection, but let's get into this review and let's get started. Basically, mm -mm. the closest bookstore sells Shonen Jump every Wednesday. The video rental stores is 10 stations away. Fetch was let out for sale and no one ever seems to, to lock, to like, put a lock on the house. This is the country life they live. But these five girls at Asaka Brant School are enjoying it. Enjoy the leisurely laid back life of these unique girls. I should go might look like a typical boring type to most. However, no day in this village can ever be considered colorless. Thanks to the five students of various ages accompanying to the classroom and only the school in the only school in town, literally the only school in this small country village town. The youngest first grader, Renge. This is Renge. She's cute. She's adorable. Who brings in untrammable wit, curiosity, and her own courtesy and characteristic catchphrase, Nampatsu. She says that every time she greets the other girls, she says, Nampatsu. And there are the Kagoshi siblings. These two, they're siblings. Uh, consisting of, her, of their older brother, who's not in this picture, he's in ninth grade. <clears throat> Why does he? Hold on. Her older brother, which is not in the picture, but that would make five of them. Um, brother Shigure, uh, he's uh, quiet and smart. This, this, this muted eighth grader, Komoe, she's, she's in eighth grade. She, no, she's short. She's the oldest. And the Miss, uh, Miss Chibi is great. Natsu, she's the sec third youngest, and uh, she looks she she like she should be the oldest, but she's not. She's the oldest, even though height betrays her. She's the oldest. She's the youngest. Always getting in trouble with her with their mom, sadly. And the uh, recent arrival of Tokyo rising fifth grader, uh, Haruto, who appears overwhelmed for her age. Overwhelmed for her age and also overdeveloped for her age because if this chick's in eighth grade, why isn't she more developed than the girl in fifth grade and vice versa? You know, I think that should have been switched, but whatever. It's anime, you never question the logic of grading. Sometimes you do, and you wonder why. Thus, naturally, hold on an air of maturity out of the lively and vibrating group of the five classmates based on a manga permitted by Akita. Now you're wondering where I'm getting five when they're off there's four in the group. Well, there's four right there, right? Sh let's see, five, five, four, four, four. Here we go. She was consisted of the five of the group, but she goes to school in Tokyo. And then there's another girl in the series. I don't think she's in this one. But now number usually has two seasons. This has two seasons, so this is the first season in Nonbury. Nonbury Repeat is the second season, and the thing, and I just found out today that they're coming out with a third season. They're coming out with a third season, and I'm so excited because I love this little laid-back anime. And each each of the first two season all together they have 24 total episodes but this each of the six will have 12 individually and this anime is a very laid-back anime anime it has five star it's so nostalgic and innocent and like it's just perfect like a perfect little anime you can watch and not get bored it's given five stars it's a slice of life and a comedy you gotta think it's five girls all very different age range and they just get in the fun adventures while in the little quiet side of countryside in Japan and it's like really classic how they interact with the people in their village and their teacher their only teacher and the delivery lady and then how they like 
that they board and how those shenanigans they get into. But overall, I'm so happy that they're getting like a third season because this is like the best anime ever that that I enjoyed. And I can't wait for the third season. The third season should be coming out around fall of this year or maybe spring or summer of, of next year, hopefully. We shall find out. But I thoroughly enjoyed it. I enjoyed all the characters, especially that one with the purple hair. Cause she was like, every time she was your friends, so always Nampatsu. And then I felt so bad for the siblings because she is mistaken for a little child or her old, youngest was just taken for the older kid. We probably get on her nerves like a lot of times, but you know, when the growth spurt doesn't hit you like that, like it should, sometimes that's the way it be sometimes, you know? But you gotta think Haru gets, has an air of maturity over because of the way she's overly developed. You know, I'm like, I get that. Some kids get that growth spurt in like 5th grade. I should know. That happened to me one time. But also, look at that. Ichigo Haru has transferred from Tokyo. Tokyo to Kansai. Because her parents. Due to her parents' work. But her new school only has five students, including herself. Ichigo Haru, the transfer student from Tokyo. Katsumi Nasi, the mood maker. Katsumi Koruma, the oldest girl of the, of the group. New school ring of the youngest and unique sensation of perception. And the story that lies is going to live in the quiet, sleepy country has begun. Like you said, five. The fifth one is their brother. So, that's why he's uh, in this one. But he, their brother is, like, very sweet and very kind. And, like, it's kind of sad how his, uh, his, it's kind of sad how, like, um, his two sisters treat him. Even though he is the oldest, he tries his best. So, any of you have cute little tires, we went to the candy store, like I said. It's easy to walk to some of the buildings in this anime, like the candy store or the manga shop. Something that they didn't they take the bus for. But overall, I thoroughly enjoy it. If, if you want like a laid back anime, I definitely, truly, truly recommend this one. Uh, go check out the first season. And then also it has a, it has a, a manga based on this as well. I would suggest either or watching the first season of the anime or reading the manga, whatever you prefer. But um check out the first episode because I truly enjoy it. I'll give this a 10 out of 10 because this is a really classic anime. It's nostalgic. It's, not, it's very laid back. It's nice and light. It's a comedy. Then you get a kick out of what's it like to live in the countryside of Japan. I thoroughly enjoy it. And also, comment down below what's your favorite anime. Also, comment down below if you do watch Nanamburi and comment of which one of these five characters in the series is your favorite. I thought you like Renge because she's adorable and her little catchphrase is cute. It's adorable. And uh, also the brother in the series, he's not really, he has a name, but they don't really name him. Well, they do name him, but they not name him in summary. And then uh, Haruturo, Haru is very interesting too. So comment down below in the comment section who's your favorite character and why and list or comment any other anime, anime you want me to recommend in the future. So far for now, I will see y'all Saturday for another dun dun anime review. And I'll see y'all next time for another anime. Bye.